We're also learning new details after the body of a woman was found inside of a trunk of a burned car. The man accused of the woman's murder was in court today. NBC 4's Macy Jenkins live in Lancaster tonight where this crime unfolded. And Macy, we understand you spoke to a neighbor who knew this couple. I did. Jonathan, 37-year-old Matt Switowski is behind bars charged with not only the murder of his girlfriend, but setting fire to the car in his garage where her body was found. Arson and murder. Two crimes L.A. County District Attorney's Office says Matthew Switowski orchestrated last Wednesday morning. I was very surprised. I never expected something like that from him, you know? Yeah. They always seem so happy. We spoke to one of his neighbors on the picturesque 38th Street West in Lancaster's Quartz Hill neighborhood, a few miles west of Highway 14. There was an explosion around 8:20 in the morning. You know, I looked out the window, saw smoke, called 911, and they came in. There's, you know, the whole garage was on fire. He asked us not to share his name or face, but shared this cell phone video with NBC4, showing black smoke billowing out of Switowski's garage. While the fire department was extinguishing the fire, the firemen um, notified them that they found a uh, body inside the garage, and the person was pronounced dead at the scene. LASD's Lancaster station says those charred remains were found inside of the trunk of one of the cars in the garage. LA County Medical Examiner identified the person on Christmas Day as 27 year old Veronica Aguilar, believed to be Switowski's girlfriend. We were able to see that the car was on fire. We just didn't know if someone was in there. Aguilar was a UCLA graduate, an elementary school teacher, according to her family's GoFundMe page. Her cause of death still under investigation. The neighbor we spoke to says he called Switelski right after the explosion but got no answer. The next day, investigators located Switelski 90 miles north in Kern County, where he was arrested on suspicion of murder. Matt was a great neighbor, man. Never had any issues with him. Always comes out with a smile. Right before Christmas, you know, we're all shocked, I guess, in the neighborhood. Switowski was set to be arraigned today here at the Antelope uh, Valley Courthouse, but that date has been pushed back to January 18th. Reporting live in Lancaster, Macy Jenkins, NBC4 News.